So there's yet another example of Donald Trump backers declaring in court in front of a judge that Donald Trump is guilty of inspiring them to do the things they did on January 6th, that in that court of law, in front of that judge, they are saying, we did what we did because of Donald Trump. Now, I've covered stories like this before, where basically people after the fact are trying to justify what they did and say, it's not my fault, I only did it because Donald Trump and the rest of the Trump family and other top Republicans and conservatives lied to me or egged me on, and so I deserve some leniency. And I actually do think that Trump bears some responsibility, but of course, Ultimately, these people are still responsible for their own actions and should face penalties. But there's a new case here where the evidence is much more established because the people in question have a written record before January 6th of saying that they are there or are going there because of Donald Trump. They literally say at one point, this is on the order of the Don himself. I wanna read you some of this because it paints a picture of Trump's incitement more clearly than we've seen yet. And it says, the call to action was put out to be in DC on January 6th from the Don himself. Smith allegedly told Neef on December 22nd, some four days after Trump's infamous tweet. In a similar comment on New Year's Eve, Smith allegedly confirmed he did not view that call to action as peaceful. Quote, Trump is literally calling people to DC in a show of force, Smith told one Facebook user on December 31st, according to the indictment. Militias will be there, and if there's enough people, they may effing storm the buildings and take out the trash right there. And this is awful for Donald Trump. Again, in a court of law, in front of a judge, all of that stuff, they are saying, Donald Trump made me do this. And actually, I'm not just saying that after the fact, because I'm in big trouble. Here is my written record of thought on Facebook and Twitter and other sources proving that I read the tweet by Donald Trump and I interpreted it like many did as a call for force, not peaceful protests, but forceful protest, and then I acted upon it. And here's the thing, Donald Trump might not be directly on trial here. These thugs are on trial here. So far, none of these things have led to Trump getting charged directly, but keep in mind that there's looming threats to Donald Trump, civil and criminal, with regard to his role on January 6th. On the one hand, you have the January 6th committee, and even people like Mitch McConnell have said, at least in the past, that you know he still hasn't been held accountable for January 6th. Maybe impeachment isn't the way to do it. Maybe he needs to be criminally charged. And so, that might still happen. And evidence of Donald Trump inciting violence would be in part established by written records of the people he incited, aka this piece of evidence. But further to that, it probably matters in the civil case even more. In a civil case, you just got to prove preponderance of evidence and what a lot of people, whether it's the Capitol Hill police or other people suing Trump, are arguing is that the thugs did the violence on that day, sure, but they were only there on the orders and the incitement of Donald Trump, and so therefore, as a person, Donald Trump as an individual and other top Republicans like Giuliani and some Congress people and parts of the Trump family, they are liable for what happened on that day. And and these pieces of evidence established in court are proof, at least I think they're proof, of Trump's incitement. So this is an awful day for Trump. Yet again, his supporters in court are throwing him down the stairs in front of a judge declaring, this is the guilty party, I'm not guilty. And now it just piles more evidence on to Trump's criminal and civil cases looming. Bad day for him.